Hey, how you doing? Aaron Dade here um, with Kingdom Blueprint, and today we're going to talk about a different form of emotional abuse, which is passive aggressiveness. Um, as you know, I am the strategic portion of Kingdom Blueprint. My wife does a lot of the spiritual core to heaven stuff. She does a lot of the emotional traumas. She deals with a lot of those things, and she's great at those things. I am the communication portion of it, enforcing boundaries. I teach people how to enforce boundaries and to communicate with their given spouses and other people in their environment so they can be the best version of themselves. One of the things that I find a lot of times is people don't understand the idea that any communication, whether it be nonverbal or be verbal, is sending a message. And passive aggression or p passive aggressive behaviors or passive aggression is all about sending a message to the person that you are being passive aggressive towards. So any type of passive aggressive behavior is about sending a certain message to that person. So if you think of the word passive, that means to pass on something, obviously. Um, the word in itself, the beginning of it is pass. So to pass on something. So does it mean that you didn't have the opportunity you chose to pass on it. So sometimes that's in an environment where we're being doormats. We allow people to just do whatever they want to do, however they want, and we just pretty much nod and smile on them. I call it being the perfect Christian. You know, we act like we don't have feelings or we don't have emotions, and so we're too Christian to actually stand up for ourselves. And I don't believe in that type of behavior because I look at that as more passive aggressive behavior. I really want to be aggressive and I really want to be bold and stand up for myself. However, I am afraid of the rejection. So therefore, I don't behave like I want to behave. So then I become passive aggressive. I send a message that it's okay to treat me a certain way. So passive aggressive behavior most of the time, because all of communication, 60% percent of all of communication they say it's a minimum of 55 but um it gets higher and higher as you talk to more experts <clears throat> is nonverbal communication so people don't actually speak when they say something to you they send a message through not saying anything however you find a lot of times that most people are like well they said this they said that and they're paying attention to what a person is saying and relying on that for the only message that they're sending I don't believe in that. I believe that when whatever happens in all versions of communication, whether it's nonverbal or it's verbal, so in other words, if I send a text message and somebody blocks me or they don't speak to me, their silence has spoken volumes. It has said a bunch of different things. So I focus on my message and planting the seeds that are necessary so that I can have healthy boundaries and communication with whoever I'm talking to. So passive aggressive behavior back to the point and being um i would i would say i see it most of the time in passive aggressive behavior sending a message of anger bitterness shame frustration um through their behaviors and through you know i want to show you that i'm angry but i'm going to ignore you i want to show you that i don't want to look at you like for instance if i put on sunglasses right now it would send a message to everybody that's watching this video that i am not interested in looking at them or the light is too bright or for some different reason my the action of me putting on the sunglasses would send a message so passive aggressive behavior is about sending a message that is hard it's an encoded message in other words it's very difficult to decipher what the person is trying to say to you so be on the lookout for passive aggressive behavior and in order to do that that means that we have to be paying attention to the other person's body language for the most part so if somebody says i'm open to everything that you say and they go like this more times than not, that means that they're not open to what you're talking about. Their body language is saying something completely different than what they're speaking from their mouth. Or if somebody says, we can talk all day about whatever you want, and then they go like this, and they look down at the floor, they actually have very little interest in saying what you're saying at that current moment, or it might be all day. 
um, if somebody behaves in a certain way and then says, like, for instance, if somebody walks in the door and they look at you and they say, oh, yeah, well, I'm late. I'm sorry that I'm late. And they do this two or three times over and over. Um, it sends a message to you that they don't care about your emotions and or valuing your time. So therefore, their actions show that. But then they say something like, oh, well, I didn't do this because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Their actions show that they don't care about your feelings and they say that, that's passive aggressive behavior. So this is passive aggression and being able to discuss this just in a video real quick. Um, and Aaron Date, I'll see you guys here again soon.